Okay, so, slight change of location. Fan has got windows. Fan uh, has also got a single seat. And England are playing football, so that's on the radio. So yeah, we've got insulation in. Dad's sorting the uh, sun on himself. It's a bit rare getting sun here, so get as much as you can. Am I looking Australian yet, Mike? Do I look Australian? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I got the, the windows in uh, a couple of days ago and a single seat in this morning. A slight problem with that though, which will be another video which I'll have to upload. Uh, I've been to buy some wood and then we're fitting new flooring, walls, roofs and that sort of stuff because the old stuff we have got is pretty dirty and a bit smells of dog, so I've got all that stuff out. Uh, there's the original double seat that was in the van. So I took that out and probably list that on eBay to recuperate some money. Pretty nice being back and having all my tools. Um, but yeah, time to get the flooring in and we'll head from there. Okay, so, quick update, floor's in, pretty good, so I just used 12 mil ply, uh, we're probably going to be coating out the top, but the previous stuff was pretty skanky, so I just wanted, it's yeah, such a nice van to do it all, we're on the back there, you can see, and just working towards doing the new ply line for the sides, so while Dad's doing that, England won the football, so this is all going pretty well. So yeah, the previous stuff we had was just a bit used. I think it's the original stuff which came with the van. Uh, and we're using this new, what it is, I think, 6 mil ply. Exactly the same as what came out of it. And that way we can then even just use this as is, not have to clad the sides like my previous van. And it'll look reasonable from the go. So I think I'm going to start looking at this insulation. Um, the aluminium fold stuff's already been done, so I have this, which is real sheep's wool insulation. Ended up being almost the cheapest option for doing this. Um, hopefully I've bought enough, but we'll, we'll see. I think it does expand a bit when it comes out. It's 75 mil in depth. Thursday evening. Dad is uh, currently loving the Ryobi tools. I love the Ryobi. And yeah, let's start, start looking at a bit of insulation. Okay, so, wool insulation. Oh, it's a bit stinky to start off with. Smell like a Welsh village. But uh gonna get some scissors. Cut it open and see how it goes. I think I'm gonna need a bit more. Perfect combination, Ryobi Power Tools, hearing protection from Nick Chitty Hearing Care. Come get some. Okay, 
Inspection on one side's in, it's got in pretty well. Uh, I've got the GoPro on doing a time lapse. Just there. Taz working on the new paddling. It's going pretty well. And uh, I'll just show you what I did here. Getting the wool in each area. So there will be a vapor barrier over this. So the humidity is getting to that. And I'm probably going to end up doubling up in some areas because I've got so much. I've got four of these rolls. I did this whole side. I've probably used half of one roll. If that. So I will get to do the roof as well. But uh, I just used string in between the original holes that are already there. Good bit of noise there. And so yeah, these pieces just hold the wool in until I can get the vapor barrier on and uh, keeps it all nice and in place. So that's how it's done. I'm going to go on to this once Dad's finished doing the uh, pile lining. I think I'll get these pieces done now. Okay, well. That's pretty much the first full day done. We've got a uh, new floor in, all the plow lining done by thermal generator man himself. The wool insulation is pretty much almost all in. Um, and yeah, good first day. First, they've also got the single seat in. Tomorrow we have a uh, roof vent to go in. Need to move the roof rack first as well. It's in slightly the wrong hole. Uh, then we'll vapor barrier, final fit the ply lining, uh, and finish those insulation bits off, uh, and then hopefully make the bed frame. So, yeah, join in tomorrow.